So Dean, was that sort of like the perfect performance and perfect scoreline you're after this afternoon? I think so. I think at different stages of the game, I think the fourth great opportunity in the game come to them. They had a free header on our box and they should have scored. Um, I think from our point of view, we probably took them slightly lightly in the first 15, 20 minutes. I wasn't happy with our level of performance and to be fair from the side, I got into the players a little bit. And then we really started to dominate. They tried to jump us and press us. Um, especially our back line and we didn't overload the midfield and we just needed to make that count better and we did and then eventually bit by bit we got better uh, we played a couple of trigger balls off the front man um, it just was outstanding performance but the main thing with these type of <laughs> these kind of competitions the FA Cup especially you need a bit of luck in it and right, <clears throat> right at the back end of the half when it was 2-0 to us they had another sort of half chance you know, they can, that can change the game. Obviously, goals can give teams a like, uh, chance for the lift. But I thought chances were good today. Uh, they pressed us really hard, made it really difficult for us. Um, I thought it was a good performance with them, but I thought we were just obviously the better team. Yeah, and I guess it's one of those, like, if you're not on your air game, it's one of those fixtures that can really sort of trip you up. Yeah, 100%. It's the FA Cup. Everyone's here today. You can see BBC Radio and everybody be here today. They're here for an upset. That's what they're looking to do. It's BBC Essex. Um, they won an upset and uh, we had to make sure that we, we that didn't happen to us and I thought we carried out over the 90 minutes or the 99 minutes, whichever it was, um, we carried out a nice professional performance. And how important is it in the FA Cup to maybe try and get a bit of a run going? Look, our priority is the league, I, I ain't going to lie, uh, our priority is the league campaign and uh, nothing else really. Um, the FA Cup is a, is a, is a good, um, sort of like, it's a good bridesmaid for us, um, that's probably the best way of putting it. Um, obviously, we'd like we'd like a home draw in the next round, and we know the excitement of it. It's more for the supporters and the finances of the football club, because uh, obviously you see here today our stadium's not full. Um, we want to get our stadium full. If we fill our stadium, we can sign better players. We can bring more revenue to the football club, um, and that's really that's the crux of it, really. So from our point of view, look, we love the FA Cup. I love it personally, um, and I think we could have rotated today in a lot of positions because we've got the strength and depth to do that. But I decided not to and go with a strong side. Yeah, and I guess to stand any chance of getting one of those dream ties, you have to overcome these early rounds. 100%. Look, 100%. It's just one game at a time for us. I don't. I'm looking now for it. Enjoy this evening. Enjoy the game. And um, I'll enjoy this evening. Enjoy the game. And then basically, I watch the game back tomorrow. And then from Monday morning, we come back in, recover, debrief our game, and then start looking towards Solihull next week. Into the hat for round one, EFL teams coming at this at this round. Is there any idea who you might want to face? We want to be an EFL team, so there's no reason why we can't be. Uh, we've got the quality to do with that, so I know it's a long, hard slog and season. We've had a good start to it, and that's it. So once we're at home, hopefully we get home toy. I don't look at it. I won't even watch it, to be honest with you. I'll be more focused on Solihull. That's another. When's, I don't know when the next round even is. So I'll just. I'll be honest. I'm not trying to be like arrogant or anything like that. I just. I just focus on the next team. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Solihull are the opponents, like you just said, next Saturday. Thoughts going into that one? Yeah, I think they've got a replay Tuesday night now. Um, Solihull, uh, Aldringham. And this is the distraction the Cup can bring. So this is a flip side of it. They now have to play Tuesday night. Well, we'll have a full four sessions to prepare for their game. So, listen, whether that gives us an advantage or not, I'm not sure. Solihull's a tough place to go. Every time I've been there, I've never had an easy game. Tough game again last year. They equalised against us late. Obviously, good to see Laurie again. Laurie was a star what? Did a great job for us here, Laurie Walker. Good kid, and they've got some really good players. The good manager, and they just lived out last year in the playoffs. So they're a good football club. They're well run. I uh, know a lot of the guys there personally from Wardy, who's like director of football and that. So we'll have a guard up. We know it's not going to be easy going there. Yeah, I think that's your lift actually as well, Dean. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Cheers.